Have you ever wondered what happens to a CPU if you use it without a cooler? Well, in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be testing, so let's get into it. So this uh, beautiful white beast of a computer right here is none other than the Dell Inspiron 530. And this is what we are going to be using for our little experiment today. Um, this is rocking four gigabytes of DDR2 memory, uh, some form of old uh, AMD HD uh, graphics card. But most importantly, this is running an old Intel Core 2 Quad uh, CPU of some kind. And that is what we are going to be testing uh, to see what happens when you uh, use a CPU without the proper cooling on it. So first things first, we need to get a monitor set up so that we can actually boot this PC up and get our temperature monitoring software installed. And I'm also going to be installing Cinebench so that uh, we can hit the CPU uh, pretty hard uh, for this test. So all of the first tests I'm gonna run are going to be completely idle. Um, so as you can see here, uh, the CPU usage is very high for the second Windows 10. It's often pegged at roughly 100%. Um, but as you can see for the max for both cores, it's uh, around 52, 51 degrees Celsius. Um, so these are pretty much idle temps. While the CPU usage is high, um, the computer is just not really doing anything. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So CPU temps are fine here. The first thing I want to do is just simply unplug the fan and see what that does to the temperatures. So now that the fan is unplugged, uh, we can't see any actual differences immediately actually in uh, core temp right now, but I'm sure as the computer continues to run, the temperatures will most likely rise. So with the fan unplugged, the temperatures are very slowly starting to rise. The one core is about, has just hit 58 degrees Celsius, 60 and the uh, core number one or core number two technically has hit uh, just now 58 degrees Celsius. So it is steadily rising as this uh, CPU fan is unplugged. Um, but the heat, uh, the heat sink on this computer is actually doing a surprisingly well job of keeping the temps under control. Um, again, because that CPU usage is so high. But eventually I'm guessing this thing will overheat and shut down, but we'll just have to wait and see. So it hasn't taken very long, it's been a few minutes, and the CPU has now hit 72 degrees Celsius and 69 degrees Celsius on the second core. For some reason, uh, Microsoft Store decided that was its time to open. <laughs> um, computer is acting... I'll actually keep that open. The computer is definitely acting pretty slow. I believe the CPU... Uh, I'm not sure what the rated TDP is. Oh, I guess right there the max is 95 degrees Celsius. So um, it's most likely going to start thermal throttling soon if it hasn't already. 76 degrees Celsius there. The <laughs> the rear exhaust fan on this computer is working real hard to try to keep it cool. Uh, I don't think it's doing much considering it's at 76 degrees Celsius, which is pretty toasty for an idle CPU. So we've just hit a max temperature of 81 degrees Celsius after a few more minutes of waiting. So we are 14 degrees Celsius away from hitting the max uh, temperature that the CPU was rated for. So I'm going to let it sit a good while longer and see if uh, this thing will shut down eventually. All right, just hit 90 degrees Celsius. Again, continuing uh, the idle on the CPU, and that's five degrees uh, Celsius away from the recommended spec, or recommended uh, the max uh, temp for this CPU, 91. It's definitely, seems to, everything still seems to be working. The cursor still works, 93 degrees Celsius. This thing is getting extremely hot right now. 
And again, this is just with uh, unplugging the fan. Okay, we just had the core turn red there for a second, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely starting to uh, thermal throttle now, trying to cool itself down. We're getting a temperature warning on the core number zero there. I'm not sure if it will surpass 95 degrees Celsius or if it'll be able to throttle itself down enough to keep it there and not. It seems to, every time it hits that threshold, it seems to keep it there. It hasn't surpassed it yet. Core number one is still at 90 degrees Celsius. It seems to be cooling itself down every once in a while, just like a little bit. And every time it flashes red, I'm noticing the voltage up here is, and the uh, frequency up here is dropping quite a bit. So it's definitely thermal throttling itself to try to keep itself cool. It just hit 96 max. We're starting to get a, a question mark. Computer's like, are you seriously still running it like this? <laughs> I'm just going to touch the heat sink here. Yeah, that thing is really hot. There's some serious heat radiating off of that thing. Um, 97 degrees max. I'm guessing, my best guess right now is that once it hits 100 degrees Celsius, it's going to shut down, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're finally actually getting the second core, uh, core number one here as it's labeled in uh, core temp. That one is also finally starting to thermal throttle as well. They're both getting very hot. We just hit 99 degrees Celsius on the main core. I'm very interested to see what this thing will do once it hits 100 degrees Celsius. It is heating. It's very hot. It's heating up very slowly, but it is very hot right now. And keep in mind, I am just running the Intel stock cooler on this thing that came from uh, from the factory in this Dell. So uh, it's definitely a heat sink that is not designed to handle stuff like this. And we've just hit 100 degrees Celsius on core number zero. That is crazy. 100 degrees Celsius. It hasn't shut down yet. Crazy amount of... Ow. <laughs> okay, actually... Like, almost just burnt my finger there on the heat sink. That thing is radiating some serious heat. Uh, we are running at about 1.6 uh, megahertz, so, or 1,600 megahertz, so that's about 1.6 gigahertz. Um, CPU is definitely running very slow, trying to limit the amount of power. Um, we're running about 1.625 uh, volts right now, which is very much lower than what it's supposed to be running at. That's 101 degrees Celsius. Is this thing even still working? Yeah, we can move stuff around. Okay, so I plugged the fan back in on the CPU cooler, let it uh, cool itself down. As soon as I plugged it in, it dropped like five degrees Celsius. It, I mean, it, the cooler was at like max instantly. Um, so for this second test, I'm going to take the CPU cooler off and boot the computer like that and just see what happens uh, in the boot sequence if you don't have a cooler on it. So I'll let the CPU cool down and then we'll run the second test. Okay, so this is the second test. We are going to, as you can see, boot the computer without any form of cooler on the CPU. So let's see what happens. So far we're getting a normal boot sequence. So far, Windows is booting up normally. There is absolutely no cooler on that CPU. It's got to be running at an insane temperature right now. Oh. Yep, the computer just shut itself down. 
pretty much what I expected to happen. Um, we did almost get into windows, though. There's a lot of heat coming off of this thing right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put the CPU cooler back on. We're going to boot it up into Windows and then take the cooler off while uh, running at idle in Windows. So let's uh, proceed to the third test. So not sure why now all of a sudden we have all uh, four cores showing up. Pretty weird. Somehow overheating the CPU uh, fixed our issue here. <laughs> um, so uh, I am now going to, uh, the computer is completely idle. And I am now going to remove the CPU cooler um, completely to see what happens to the temps. Yeah, that thing skyrocketed fast. That thing is heating up quick. Hold it. 128 degrees Celsius on the... Okay, yep. And the computer just shut down. So, the thing definitely got hot. What impresses me is that it was actually able to sustain itself at 128 degrees Celsius. And then as soon as it spiked to, I think it was like, what, 130 or something like that, it completely uh, shut itself down. So that's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to now run all of these tests over again, but uh, this time with Cinebench uh, running to see how the CPU reacts to these extreme temperature changes under 100% load. So we have Cinebench running here, and the max the CPU is getting to is about 66 degrees Celsius. Uh, the cooler is keeping it steady there, and it is 100% load on all four cores. It's boosting up to 2.4 gigahertz. It's got 1.325 uh, volts of power going to the thing. Um, so now the question is, how quickly will this heat thing heat up running 100% load uh, if I take the cooler off? So let's test it. Okay, so I am now taking the screws out of the cooler I've got two screws out hasn't really affected the temps all that much yet taking the third screw out and now the CPU cooler is no longer in contact with the CPU Taking the last screw out. Oh, that, that thing's heating up quick. It is really thermal throttling now. CPU cooler is free. I'm just going to unplug the fan. And it shut down. Alright guys, well I think that was actually a pretty interesting test to see how a CPU reacts to not having a cooler on it, both at idle temperatures and under 100% load. So this was an interesting experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.